she dropped one to Michigan here. I mean, they probably should have won, but at the same time, I mean, I guess, I guess credit Michigan for at least the, the credit the staff, all right, for making the switch to Orgy. And, and, you know, we kind of railed them a little bit before this game for not having made that switch already and giving Alex Orgy the practice at quarterback Um, in the games where, like, you probably could have afforded to do that. But the game plan here was just run the ball. And you have probably one of the best running backs in the entire country. Definitely in the not Donovan of the Edwards, by the way, it is Khalil Mullings. Yeah, thank it you is. very much. And how many I think weeks? everyone figured that out. That has been the case, right? All year. And and he was he was better last year, I thought, in his limited sample size. Yeah, I agree. And we've been saying that we've been pounding the table for that for a while now. So so yeah, I mean they only threw the ball 12 times. I don't know how many times they dropped back and how many times Alex Orgy scrambled, but Definitely see uh sure they turned the ball over a couple times. Honestly, I mean USC should have won this game, but I'm still gonna credit Michigan for finding a way defensively, right? To manufacture some points that way and then stick to the run game, you know, and, and keep this um keep the number of plays run in this game at a limited number. And I think USC still had close to 70 plays run on offense, which is, I don't know, pretty pretty average, to be honest. But, yeah, Michigan, I, I guess credit to them finding a way to win. I don't know what your thoughts on this game. We both picked USC to win and cover, by the way, and that did not. That was one of our two losses, ATS, this week. Yeah, listen, I, I think you're absolutely right in terms of what they did with Orgy to credit the staff. I was kind of calling here last week and, like, not hitting the panic button yet on the staff and showing more. But you, there's a glaring ignorance right now in terms of how you are handling the offensive philosophy on the side of that, that ball. And they not only did they make the switch to it, they committed to it. They they knew exactly what they can and can't do in this football game. And you have to play a certain style right now with how limited you are passing the ball. And it's not just Orgy, by the way. It was Davis Warren, too. Right? Whoever else is back there, quarterback, with the way your offensive line is handling pass block and the way you – Obviously, Colson Lawson's hurt, and your receivers are not separating. Like, you just can't throw the ball effectively against solid teams. And USC, I can also say I was pretty impressed with them. Like, the way they got up off the mat after, you know, kind of demoralizing first half, and they boom, 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 the fight and the resilience they showed, I feel really good about that moving forward. And if you watch next week's video, I've already got, you know, a little something-something there for them and when they take on Wisconsin – Obviously not how you want to start your Big Ten career if you're USC. And obviously with their momentum that they were building after the, the LSU win, you would have loved to go in Ann Arbor and get a big-time win and cement yourself firm into a playoff com competition. But again, Michigan's that floor they have, when they play well and they play a certain style of football, like you said, they can beat a lot of teams on their schedule. They can be a lot of teams on their schedule. And so obviously – Hats off to both these teams. It was a great game. The fourth quarter was awesome. That run by Mullings was awesome. And obviously, you know, it was crazy. It was pretty awesome. Even that one play where it was a Kenneth Grant, had, it was like a fumble or Ruski or whatever, maybe interception, whatever it was, he had the ball. And then I think Woody Marsh just took it from him. And that was a massive yeah. game changer because that could have been really, really bad for USC. They get a, the ball back in a fresh set of downs. That was on third down too, so – Holy cow, you know, credit to both these teams and these staffs. And dang it, man. I is it crazy to still feel good about USC and like how physical they played and you know, Miller Moss, his toughness and, and even throwing under pressure. I mean, he didn't look great under pressure because he doesn't have quite the escapability that Caleb Williams or other quarterbacks have, but when he's getting hit, pressure in his face, he still delivers a great football. Yeah. I I don't feel all that. I was pretty high on USC already, to be honest. Um, like I was looking at them. I'm starting to look at them as a contender. I, I don't. I still don't think I'm there yet. I don't feel significantly worse about USC, but also, I mean, I feel a little bit better about Michigan. That's kind of where I'm at. It, it was a slight increase decrease for both teams, but actually, I it would actually it's more like here. Like I still feel better about USC than I do about yeah. Michigan. So I don't know. I mean. Like if they play this game again, 
we're probably i mean I'm, I'm it, it would change i think the line gets smaller but i do think like this was the only way for michigan to win right like they had to play this brand of football you know and right i mean it's a, if it's in a neutral site i mean i'm definitely taking usc well yeah i mean they'd be favored again i think if they played well, the they'd, end. in a neutral site they'd be still be favored by over a touchdown probably yeah 